welcome back guys Alright, let's begin Let's check Let me not 9s My internal storage for user data uh, 45 GB This is a 464 model And the Poco X Pro using a custom ROM Poco X3 Pro uh, the 256 GB uh, user data 226 alright minimum safe size for the windows 25 GB or more at least 25 GB Okay. The tutorial link for it I will give in the description. This is the Redmi Note 9S, 9 Pro, 9 Pro India, 10 Lite, 9 Pro Mac, or Poco M2 Pro. All can be installed this Windows with the same UFI because this all phone are using the same kernel except a few of the hardware are different but the kernel are more or less the same based on at all and this all device are me at all right the necessary file you download from here the recovery the Windows ISO, the driver, driver, this is the recovery and Windows ARM, the UFI image, this one you must download also, same for Poco X3 Pro, you must use the modified recovery otherwise this tutorial are not for you I am not going to push any part or pushing the MSE file the script all of these are using a modified recovery all the script are inside the recovery alright let's begin with the Note 9S first boot to boot loader this is a custom recovery already first we need to flash the recovery so the modified recovery for me at all the file you download the zip file you can flash via recovery or unzip it to flash this recovery image flash recovery and pull this image this is for 9S 9 Pro or 9 Pro Mac Okay, okay, now we're going to reboot to recovery. The phone are rebooting to recovery. We are resizing the user data partition, it's very simple. to boot into the mass storage mode first disable the 
NCP go to mount if you want to copy anything to your SD card you can enable NCP this one for the Android copy the any file to your SD card in case you forgot something right for this tutorial to enable the mass storage must dis uh, disable the MTP right now resizing the partition just follow this uh, tutorial okay space this uh, dollar sign are uh, the windows partition for the 34 uh, 45 user data 45 GB user data or the 464 device at least safe size for windows are uh, 25 or 30 for this for mine I'm using 30 GB only 30 no other words or text now it's resizing and yes all right have a nice day finish after that but before that you have to back up your uh, back up your boot image since mine already back up this is my backup now go go to wipe format data and yes this is for the android user data you have to format it otherwise you will be boot loop right the 9s already now poco x3 pro reboot to boot loader oh this one already flash uh, recovery same as this one but this one I saw the sample only now once you flash the recovery, pass recovery. This one are using the TWRP modified TWRP. Download from the link I give you. Same also for to boot into the mass storage mod. You have to enable uh, disable the. NCP is NCP. Now resizing the partition, artificial partition space. Since mine are the eight two five six, so I'm giving it one fifty. And yes, remember, don't exceed the full size of your Android user data. That's why check first your user data space and leave some space for your Android. All right. Same goes to this uh, Poco X3 Pro go to wipe format user data and format done you can boot to android this one up boot to system now we're going to flash the since our 9s already in the recovery I make it a shortcut we're going to flash the uh, ISO Windows resizing now 
installing Windows. Download your ISO file. Since I already got mine, just open it. Go to source. Install Wim. Yeah. Right. Now we're going to reboot the phone to mass storage mode. Edit B, shell, and SC. Right, same as here. Edit shell and SC. Did we detect my, yes, it detect my Windows partition. Always check the driver the mass storage are inside the portable device if it not detect then install the driver properly I'm not going to do that tutorial how to install the driver that is up to you to troubleshoot now open the command prompt as administrator So, already boot to mass storage. Wait a minute. You see, one of the partition are not visible. Sorry. You can use the terminal as admin or the easiest way is use this genius. Sorry for the edit. This is the partition. H. According to the street, uh, the script, not street. Your win window are using letter X, and the ESP are using letter Y. You must follow the script because you want. The, uh, you're going to copy the script. Right. Either you can uh, format or assign the drive letter for this uh, partition. So I assign and format. Heck, win. Now this is heck. The ESP right click ESP is Y format. If it happen your PC cannot assign any drive letter, let's say your PC only have or D, D are for the DVD drive no other drive available for you to assign so use the A and B only A for your Windows B for your ESP A and B so the script you change the script from X to A and uh, Y you change to B Right, now open the command prompt as administrator. We're going to install Windows. Since our partition already mount with the X and Y, because we're going to install the Windows to the X. Right, from here.
copy test and my install Wim yeah. copy as up and space and here index my windows are using index 1 not 6 always check so mine are 1 how to check over here just one more that one now enter Installing the windows may take time, maybe 10, 20 minutes, that depends on your PC. So, my POCO already good to Android, already resized. Skip. Starting now, one percent. How to get the ISO image like mine? I already make a tutorial before so I will give the link how to get it and how to develop it in the description alright this one is done can close it can eject this virtual drive alright open your drive uh, your driver folder all the file you download before me Altol driver the latest one are uh, 111 double click open you can use the offline or online double click all right the drive for the windows uh, egg followed by column and enter If your window drive are Y, type Y. If your window drive are A, because you can make any letter for the drive, only A and B available. So use A and B, A the windows and B your the boot for the windows, boot partition. Uh, offline we almost done on the 9s 9 pro 9 pro max or m2 pro or me 10 light all using the same soc 720g all of them can use the same custom ROM.
make sure no error if you got error that means something wrong with your system or something wrong with the driver sometimes the driver missing the file but this uh, driver I already test it is okay right any letter 9s already done open the terminal as admin because I'm using the Windows 11 right click this uh, Windows icon over here just copy and paste this script the second one this uh, driver are not signed so we have to enable the test sign because of the unsigned driver so on your windows you will see the watermark there test signing all right 9s already done so waiting for it to flash the UEFI image for me at uh, for the Poco X4 the driver assigned driver and using the secure boot all right 9s already done after this we flash the UEFI image now Poco X3 Pro turn boot the pawn to recovery start to recovery we already resized the partition same as the 9s now we're going to uh, you look at the we need to put it into the mass storage because we already resized the partition on this Poco X3 Pro so ADB shell MSC you know why because you need to unmount eh, you need to disable the MTP disable MTP reconnect again disable MTP first right ADB shell MSC done now we are connected in a mass storage you can cross this command prompt you can check here the win value are H need to assign the letter X and the other partition Y or you can use the terminal by using the this part okay 
this this always look at the last one so select this ten this ten are selected so we are going to list the partition inside this bar see the primary are windows the system are ESP windows are egg so select partition 33 now the tree we are going to assign the letter X Best sign. Is it like this? I forgot already. Sign letter X. Hmm. X. Capital letter X. This part already assigned. Where is it? So now partition thirty four select pa thirty four. That's why using the this genius are easier. Just click. Assign put a sing Y capital letter Y right X and Y can exit this one this thing when it's mount as a virtual drive my PC a bit problem uh, dismounting it alright we already got this one now to install the windows open your windows folder at the ISO right click go to source for the ESD file you have to copy the whole folder copy as path for the ISO a bit different okay open the command prompt as admin okay over here copy and this copy as path the install WIM and paste here space over here my index are 1 install to the 
Tire Tree Egg The Windows Partition is Egg Right X3 Pro Sign driver, this one unsigned. This one you don't have the test signing on the Windows page, then on the your on your desktop there is no watermark there. Only the Windows version watermark. That one can be removed. Once once you activate the Windows how to activate the windows or think they give it over here that one very easy how to activate now installing the windows all right take your coffee and have a drink We almost done. Alright. Finish. You can close this one. Eject the DVD drive. Now go to your driver folder. Value. And one thing for this Value uh, driver, the Poco X3 Pro. If your USB port are not working, so go to go to this platform, source driver, get the old driver, and this three replace this three. Get from the old one, the previous one. Delete this three. Can copy it this three file to this folder again. That if it's not working the USB port because mine not working so I get from the previous driver and override that one. Now we're going to run admin ad, admin also can double click also can the offline installer. Drink your coffee. MU me at all are uh, from uh, MU project. This one also from the MU project, I think. Eh, uh, no, this one is from MS Mal. It's not from Renegade. This is a secure and uh, me at all are uh, a non secure one. because the driver I think this one the driver are signed I'm not sure so maybe unsigned but the X3 Pro the driver are signed that's why we can use the 
secure wood. Now, only one, you see? If you compare to the 9S, one, two, these two is up to you. But these two are necessary for the 9S. We're only creating the wood. You see the edit. Always remember to back up your Android boot image to your SD card. You must have an SD card. Don't back up it to the internal storage. In case you got problem in the internal storage, nothing you can do it. But have to replace from the beginning your ROM or the Android. Right, finish. Now open the terminal as admin and copy this one. Only one because it is a sign driver and a secure boot. That's it. Close. Finish. You can boot to fast boot to place the UAF UEFI image or just copy the image to your SD card. Since mine already inside the SD card, so micro SD card install select storage. SD card MU me at all this is the one and by you this one flash it to the boot and reboot Bayou Show me Oh, I don't have the Alright, for the X3 Pro Have to reboot To Boot loader Flash it via fast boot I don't have the UF I image in the request cut. Fast boot, right. Now, Poco X3 Pro. Fast boot, press boot, and pull and drop or copy as path right now password reboot
Poco X3 Pro already boot twice so this time it will boot to Windows X3 Pro of course second just a few seconds maybe it reboot then yes right over here just use your finger your finger okay okay skip Then this one, I don't have internet. Yeah. That's it. That what we see now. can be skipped next because you're not using the Microsoft account and this happens also oh, chup, chup. Oh, and accept same as the minus ok ok skip I don't need internet. Uh, I don't have internet. What I don't need. Except. Type my name. Your PC name. And enter. Enter. No password needed. Zero. Done. We are done. X3 Pro Check the this okay See here Windows 11 This one can be removed. Uh, watermark CC4 or Grizzly Bear. Right. For the Wi Fi, you can sign in here. That's it.
thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Keep